9.44 now. We're counting down to kick off. We are one day away now from Ohio State's first big game of the Big Ten season. They play Maryland tomorrow. You can see that over on our sister station, ABC6. It's a noon kick, which is also just by just just by happenstance, mm -hmm. lunchtime. Can you give me a little tie oh, there? Sure. Oh, sure. I'm still getting, <laughs> still getting dressed. Mama Adrian Hasty's in the house, <laughs> dressing her baby boy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Positively cooking. Yeah. You always come up with so many great recipes. Oh, thank you. And what is this? You have found a way to, to combine. Uh, I know. Who doesn't love buffalo things? chicken? Who yeah. doesn't love meatballs, right? So it's buffalo chicken meatballs. Wonderful. Everyone loves them, and they're super simple to make. Awesome. And so a new tailgate favorite, right? Yeah, love right. it. So all you have to do is get one pound of ground chicken. Okay. Easy. Simple. Mm -hmm. So then after that, it's really up to you. The main ingredients are the eggs. You make it stick together, and then the buffalo sauce. So, so should we play and do it? Yeah. Well, okay. first I added. I had some white what? onion and green onion in my fridge. So I put that in the food processor. So have you ever used a garlic crusher before? We have. Yes, he oh, ever. Good. So yeah, I'll let that, you, you just gave that a coarse chop and it's ready to go. No, I want to do it finer. I was just oh, making sure okay. that it was working. Oh, oh. oh. all right, fair enough. <laughs> and is it? Yeah, it is. Let okay. me get some garlic. Well, why don't you do Ooh. that? I don't know if oh, I can. it's tricky. Other way. You did this <laughs> yeah. to me on purpose. I know I did. you did. Gotcha. Okay, so yeah. if you could chop that. Mm -hmm. And if you First could the, put the garlic uh, in there. And you can use the fork to get it off. And use the other. Oh, I love there you go. This. this is a great. Prep. I know. And if, to keep these warm, you can put them in a crock pot or you can just serve them just on a plate or as a sub, or whatever you want, or sliders. Ooh, more. I know, good flavor, right? More mm. garlic is always better. Better, right? All right. And you can just throw that All in that? there, too. Yep. Oh. Oops. Not good. <laughs> You don't want swords in there. You don't let her in the no, kitchen. No, <laughs> not very often. No, that works. That's good. Okay, and then you add your buffalo sauce. I also have Frank's Red Hot. That'll work too. Oh, that's you... yummy. So is this a pre this is a pre-made buffalo sauce? Yeah, that's a pre-made buffalo sauce. We're trying to make it as easy as possible, oh, yeah. right? Oh, even mm -hmm. better. And, and then I have about a couple of breadcrumbs there. You're gonna find that's gonna be a little bit of a wet mixture. I want to so make breadcrumbs. Well, this yeah. Great. That? Well, that's celery salt. That's celery salt. Celery salt. salt. We'll okay. add a nice flavor. You can always add regular salt. That's about two teaspoons. Okay. And of course the eggs. Plenty of eggs. Fold it together. Mm -hmm. I put a fork in there so you don't have to. Are you guys nervous with your hands to, around to me? To mush, mush. Well, we don't have our gloves at this moment, so we'll try to pretend that we can okay. yeah. do it. And then all you have to do, you just make meatballs. I have a baking sheet here. You can just bake oh, them so at 375. Oh, so you don't fry them or gr brown them up that way. You don't need to. No, you don't need to. Okay. And so you can put them at 375 for like 40 minutes or so, depending on how big you like your meatballs. Yeah. How big you like your meatballs? Yeah, I know. This big. I know. And they're wonderful. <laughs> served in a sub or a slider, and they're honestly such a crowd pleaser. And how easy was that? that so you can just so put easy. this out on the table, just the way it is exactly. and have everybody just scoop out of that and right. now you've got some sides there too you've got blue cheese to go well, yeah. with it and you can either do you can drizzle it with ranch or you can mix the ranch and buffalo sauce together and drizzle it with that or you can just put blue cheese depends on your blue cheese or ranch person I'm both I like both I know it's I know. fantastic I know right? we're easy cells we like everything so what are you what are you making how many here do you think that, okay so if I was gonna cook for about I don't mm -hmm. know 12 15 people I would probably get I don't three pounds we'll see. I know right <laughs> Let's say six to eight people. Oh, I'd probably or five get, people at Yeah, I get two. I could probably get two pounds of ground chicken, or you could do, you know, three pounds. You, leftovers are always great. These will last in the fridge for probably about four days. Oh, so you can yeah, do them ahead of time and have yeah. them ready to just pop yeah. them right out when it's when it's time to to, to feast. That's I know exactly. And this buckeye season has been really fun so far. So yeah, you know. it's your last buckeye. It's my last buckeye season here in Ohio. Yeah, I know. Moving to San Diego, and I'm so excited. Thank you. Hey. I know. Thank How you. Long did you Off I'm sorry. Sun and I forgot. Fun. I'm going back to the recipe because oh, I am going to make oh, these. Oh, sorry. How long did you say you have to it's bake them? 375 for probably about 35, 40 minutes. Okay. Yeah, and so the chicken you really want cooked through. You don't want any pink in the middle. Right. Okay. Because yeah. otherwise, oh my God, I thought you were going to try it for one second. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> like, don't eat it. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Wonderful. I know. Thank easy. you so much, yeah. as always. I'm going to miss the family here at Fox 28. Well, that's for sure. Please come back and see us. I will. Or I take will. me with. Okay, okay that works two. too. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, a quick yeah. plane trip. It's yeah. not that bad. No, so. it's not so bad. You're going to keep really doing the cookbooks and all out there? Yes. Cross my fingers that they'll let me go on there too. Right? I'm going to have you email them for me. Like, hey, no, she's all right. We can do that. She's all good. The recipe is going to be at My Fox 28 Columbus later today so once we get it posted just go to good day columbus click on gdc and then recipes and adrian's fabulousness will be thank there thank you for all thank the you. yummy food you've given oh, us of course you. my pleasure it's been great appreciate it